already mentioned that um, I'm, I'm a certified life coach and um, this is what I do. Uh, I, I, began, I began my uh, life coaching journey uh, in 2019. I got my certification and at first I just wanted to help, help myself actually help myself heal, help myself um, get back my control of life. And eventually it, uh, it, it, it evolved into trying to help people as well. So I'm excited to share with everybody what uh, I hope, what I hope would, uh, no, would, would help you, kahit papano, especially nowadays that um, things are, it's, it's, it's been two years. It's been a crazy two years, and I hope what I sh what I will share with you guys would um, help. Kahit pa paano, no? So do I? I can start my slides right now. We're good. Okay, I will share my slide now. Okay, you I you won't be seeing um, BTS um, <laughs> BTS files here. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so I guess for people for people in IG, um, they they can't see my slide. So if you can just scoot over to uh, Facebook, and uh, so you'd see the slides, and it will help you guys. And um, yeah, head on to Facebook um, for for a better, maybe a more immersive um, experience. <laughs> okay, so we will begin with the title, the Wheel of Life. Uh, achieving balance during difficult times. Um, we, I guess everybody would agree that uh, these are quite difficult times, definitely. It's, the, it's a unique time and maybe some of us see it as a problem. There are people who see it as opportunity, as an opportunity to rise above the times. So again, being unique, these times being unique, right? Um, calls for a more, maybe a different way of um, doing things, maybe a different way of uh, uh, living our lives in order, to, in order to find the balance within all this, this, this crazy, this craziness that's going on, right? So I want to start off just to trigger, maybe just to trigger our imagination. Start off with an icebreaker. I want you, all of you, our, our lovely, lovely, lovely audience, I want you to think of two things. Okay? First is, what makes your heart sing? What makes you happy? What makes you, you know, just you, may kilig. Anong, anong, anong nagpapakilig sa inyo? Kami ni Tita Wambu, we know what makes us kilig. So, <laughs> um, just to, no, just think about it. What makes what makes your heart sing? Uh, when you play your guitar, when 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 you dance, when you read a good book, or maybe when you talk to your friend over coffee, even if it's just for like a few minutes, what makes your heart sing? And what makes your heart sing? Ano naman yung nagpapa, nag, 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 yung bumabagsak yung puso ninyo? Okay? Is it, is it, um, the Wombo Weekend, is it possible for us to get feedback or? Yes. Hello. Ayan. So, I'm getting answers here from Facebook. Nice. No? Ayan. So, sabi, may nagsabi dito, eating, of course. Eating yes, down. call call me madam. Madaming kinakain. Yes. <laughs> Gusto ko 'yan. So meron din dito when I play with my dog. Yes. Ayan. So siguro uh, sige girl, uh, ladies comment lang sa 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 yung mga answers niyo dito. Meron dito sabi money. <laughs> mm -hmm. O nga naman. <laughs> o nga naman yes. of course. Tapos meron din dito, makakarelate tayo dito mga armies. Sabi niya, OT7. O, di ba? Alam na natin agad yon Oh, def. <laughs> Ayan. So, everything BTS makes my heart sing. Sabi ni Tita, uh, ano, Charina. Ayan. So, si Tita Charina, hindi lang heart. 
hindi lang heart ang nagsising. Soul. Ang nagsising. <laughs> Oh, Carly. Carly is also here. Hi, Carly. She says, dancing to K-pop. Oh, di ba? Yes. Hi, Carly. So, yeah. Please continue to send in your comments. Kahit nag, 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 tuturo na si, ano, si, si Lynette. Ayan. Sing. Sabi nung, my sister said, sing what makes my, what, what makes her heart sing is her child. Ayan. Definitely. Very cute. I'm not biased at all. She's really cute. <laughs> Tapos, ang sing naman sa kanya is drama. Sabi niya, drama. So oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Only, so yeah. It doesn't only make your heart sink. It drains your heart as well. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Ayan. So yeah, go continue. But this lovely lovely answers. Lovely answers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um the the reason why I ask these questions, no. Um kasi sometimes sometimes we, because of the pace of life, we we fail to recognize na our joy. Sometimes we just have to stop and just ask ourselves what will make us happy. Diba? And then, isipin nyo rin what, will, what, what makes us sad. At least ma-identify man lang natin, di ba? Hindi yung parang sad ako, I don't know why. Although there are, um, there are circumstances like that. But it's better for us to be aware. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much everybody for, for your feedback and all that. And lovely sharing. Okay, I have three questions naman now. Have you ever felt like you are overwhelmed by life? So, what's overwhelmed? Sabay-sabay na lahat. Everything is happy all at the same time. You feel, uh, imagine yourself with a plate. Diba yung sinasabi nila, my plate is full. Sometimes sinasabi nila, like, imagine yourself with a plate. And sobrang umaapaw na. You can't, you can't like, keep everything na in, in, on the plate. Okay, things become messy. I guess, I guess we all know this feeling. Overwhelmed. It's um, it's a, it's more than just being busy. It's being, being um, there's too much going on to the point that you cannot move anymore. You can't, you can't um. In, in, you don't even want to start doing anything anymore because there's too plenty things, there's too many things going on around. Okay. Second question. Have you ever have you ever felt like you are struggling to make choices? This is what um, some people say you're paralyzed because it's your things are happening all at once. You feel like things are happening all at once, and you struggle with your choices. Sometimes down to the point, now what will I have for dinner? What will I order? Hindi ka makapag-decide. Because you just feel like things, things, things are just um, uh, too overwhelming. But struggling to make choices as well on the bigger things. Like, I'm not happy with my job. Do I stay? Do I leave? Diba? It's hard. These are hard choices. And have you ever felt yourself struggling? to make these choices. Or worse, you don't even bother to even think of making a choice. Ano na lang yun nandyan, umpo ka na lang. You're just sitting there and just accepting things. So you're, you're simmering in your, own, in your own sauce, in your own juices, in your own thoughts. And have you ever felt stuck? Adrift? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm here for. Or thwarted. Parang lahat na lang nagawin ko, palpa. Nothing's working. The world is conspiring against me. You know those things? Have you, have you, I, 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 I don't know if um, you guys have um, felt this way, but I guess a lot of us have. Especially now nga. Because times are crazy mad. Okay? So just, I just wanted to ask these questions for us to start thinking lang. We don't have to. We don't have to like go deep and answer. It's just I just. Ang goal ko for this session is just to trigger thinking in us, okay? Especially women. So, so I mean, there's so the world asks a lot from us. I mean, we have so many roles to play, and um, yun nga. I just hope that by the end of this, medyo makakatulog. Okay. Sinasabi, things are crazy right now. 
it's a VUCA world. Have you, I, I, I don't know if you guys have um, heard this term, VUCA. It's, it's a military term, actually. The world today is volatile, it's unpredictable, it is complex, and it is ambiguous. VUCA. It's volatile. At any point in time, things can happen. Okay? Um, unpredictable. Oh my gosh, especially with, with, with you know, what's happening right now, the pandemic. Things are so unpredictable. We, we think things are okay now, and then all of a sudden, bang, something comes up. A new variant comes up. It's very unpredictable. Um, it's complex. Uh, we have a saying sometimes, we say, oh, I want to go back to the simple life. Because things are so, so there's so many things happening now in the world. It's complex. And it's ambiguous. It's be clear. You don't, there are no clear delineations. There are no clear, clear lines in, in, in the world right now, in life right now. Lalo na work, yung sinasabing work-life balance or work-life synergy. Parang, ano na eh, nagdi-disappear na yung line between, between work and our lives. Okay? And there are a few factors that um, create this. They say that uh, this is the age of anxiety and overwhelm. Psychology, a lot of psychologists agree that um, recently there's been a lot of um, cases where anxiety, there's a high level of anxiety, even with children, even with children. Um, and now I, I, I'm talking as a life coach. Okay? I am not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. And when I talk about anxiety, I talk about um, the kind of, not, not the clinical anxiety, but the type of anxiety that comes over us once in a while or in little spurts and not a sustained anxiety. Yun medyo ano na yun. Um, it's a little more on the psychological, psychi psychiatric side na. And, uh, but still, these little spurts of anxiety that we have, even if it's not clinical, still affects the way the way we decide, the way we live our lives, and the way we feel about ourselves. Okay, so the pace of life now has accelerated to a level beyond that which we can fully adapt. Because our bodies, our minds, we as human beings, we have the capacity to adapt to stress. Okay? We have the capacity to, to adapt to stress. In fact, stress sometimes it's, it's good. Um, it triggers, it, trig it tells us that something is not right. Okay? But because it's so fast right now, the world is so fast, sometimes our bodies, our minds, our psyche cannot adapt ka agad. And that's okay. The thing is, means kasi ang pressure pa is people expect us to be able to. To be able to adapt. But the thing is, yun nga eh, iba, kakaiba yung times. It's so fast and sometimes na -over, na, kaya tayo na-overwhelm. Kasi nga our body, our, 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 our psyche, our mind cannot fully adapt ka agad. You, you guys know that ano, the, the beach ball of death? Like Apple users. <laughs> or oh, sige, kahit sa, sa Android, that, that wheel that goes around nagbabuffer like that eh that's what's happening kasi um too much information too many buttons being being pushed kaya nag nag we, we nag beach ball of death and our mind buffers our our ability to adapt buffers so yan si beach ball of death yan ang aking ano diyan aking image region okay what is the effect of this it creates a negative feedback loop when we get anxious, when we get overwhelmed, we also get that feeling that I cannot do things. I cannot do this. Hindi ko kaya. I can't na. I can't already. Kasi nga hindi na tayo nakaka-adapt sa sobrang bilis, sa sobrang dami ng information, and sa sobrang expectations. Okay? So when that negative um, thing comes into our mind na hindi ko kaya or I can't, I can't cope, yan, loops back. Kasi, since anxious ka na, affected na rin pati the, the way you decide things. The way you decide things is affected na rin, which contributes to more anxiety. Okay? So, it becomes a loop. 
binang-iiwasan natin. Now, what happens is, we resort to managing symptoms. What do we do? Uh, uh, we go to the spa, we, we, we go to the beach, uh, we have massage, we read, we read a book, and all, all, all of this is good. That is good. But it is just the tip of the iceberg. It's not going down to the, to, to, to the very heart of the matter, which is inside us. Because when we manage these symptoms of, uh, no, no, of being overwhelmed and being anxious, uh, a lot of times these are external. Eh? Diba? These are external. We drink. We uh, obsess over social media. You know, these things. Kasi nga, ano na yun, naglalag ka na, parang ayaw ka nang mag-isip, ayaw ka nang mag-decide, I'm just gonna go to Facebook, or I'm just gonna go on uh, go drink, or whatever. Okay, these are managing lang symptoms. Now, I, I mentioned kanina, di ba, going down to the, to the heart of the map. What is the heart of the map? It is a lack of human agency. Okay? Sometimes when we resort to, let's say, going to the spa, we feel good for a while, but it comes back, umabalik pa din to, to the situation or the way you, feel, you felt to begin with. It's because of lack of human agency. What do I mean when I say agency? Agency is the ability, innate, ha? this is inside us. All the management of the symptoms, these are external. Drinking, obsession, uh, what pa ba yun, Relaxation, even sometimes meditation, these are all external things. But we internally have the ability inside us ha? to slow things down, to focus, and to size up one's current situation in order to make good decisions. Okay? In uh, simpler terms, I, I would say that lack of uh, human agency, it's called agency, well, let's call it agency, is the ability to shape one's life. Okay? Um, which, this ability is affected nga, when we are anxious, when we are overwhelmed, we can't, sometimes we find ourselves making not so good decisions if we even decide to make the we if we even make a decision in the first place okay so so in today's world what erodes what erodes agency what erodes our ability to 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 shape our lives or to control our lives sinasabi nga nila diba Live life by design and not by default. Don't make life happen to you. You decide on your life. Okay? So what erodes this ability? What erodes this inside us? Technology is always on. Aside from, siguro, social media, you know, the, the web and everything. Um, yung example ko kanina, that uh, nowadays, even beyond work hours, even beyond work hours, uh, we check our emails at work. Um, what else? Um, pwede ka tawagan ng boss mo <laughs> in the middle of the night. And she expects you to, 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 to address the problem because nga, everything's connected and you can solve it. Eh. Ang problem lang, beyond work hours na. It's always on. So you feel like, you know, how can I control this? It's everywhere. Right? Okay. Too much competitiveness aggravated by metrics. Today's world, we are obsessed with metrics. Measuring uh, success. Measuring grades. Measuring how many letters have you answered in two minutes time. You know, like, I came from an agency that was, that is an ISO or no, no, certified. There's no, I have nothing against ISO certifications and ISO processes, but my gosh, <laughs> diba? Yung mga metrics nila talagang, uh, when you receive a complaint, 
one minute turnaround. Pag beyond that, bagsak ka sa audit. Ay, mga ganon. It erodes agency. Because there are so many circumstances that can affect metrics. Okay? And the thing is, the world nowadays rewards those uh, people who can meet the metrics. It's okay. I mean, ganun talaga. But, sana naman, ma ma put into consideration then the human side. It's not all metrics. What also makes us feel like we're not in control, loss of human connection. Especially now, we're all cooped up. We're all cooped up in our houses. We as humans are not designed for isolation. We need the human connection. Kaya sometimes, uh, paano ba? Technology aids sometimes. It helps. It helps us. But sometimes too much, it, it, it aids in this isolation. Kasi feeling mo connected ka eh. But really, you're isolated in your own little place. Uh, too much of it. If too much of it happens, ganun, isolation ang mangyayari. Okay? What else affects it? Lack of physical movement. Exercise. Okay? Especially nga now na, na, na nakakoop up tayo sa bahay. We still have to find ways to do this. To move. Our bodies were meant to move also. And yun nga, medyo obsessed talaga ang mundo ngayon sa work over life. Diba? Sinasabi nila sometimes work-life balance. Um, 50%, uh, when we say work-life balance, you're saying 50% is work, 50% is life. Everything else outside of work is 50%. Ano ba yun? Diba parang naghati-hati na yung ibang mga over, and, and, and work gets a whole chunk of the 50%. And then family, um, you know, self, self, um, caring for oneself, friends, lahat to naghahati hati na with the other 50%. Uh, I'm kind of medyo on the, fe I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of iffy with that work-life balance. Maybe work-life synergy, pwede pa. Diba? Emphasizes too much thing, too much on the work. So these are the things in today's world that erodes our agency. We feel because of these things, parang medyo spinning out of control na. We cannot, we cannot hold our lives na in our hands. Sometimes we cannot make decisions na. So, what do we do? We have to build up our agency. Because a lot of people, as you said, ko, ito yun eh. Yung external, yung, but you're also good naman to do. If, if it makes you, gives you pockets of happiness. But these are attempts to reduce anxiety. Reduce being overwhelmed. Oh, that's, these are external attempts. When what we should be doing is to build up ourselves from inside. Build ourselves up from inside. To be able to be confident enough to fight off anxiety. Okay? We, we get anxious once we feel like things are not, not in control. Or if things are not um, in alignment with your values. Diba? So that increases anxiety. So what we should do is we should build up ourselves. Um, ang hirap i-control ng world ngayon. Ang hirap i-control ng external, external world. So... Pinsan dito na rin lang naman tayo, di ba? We should build up ourselves more. Okay. Hey. Now, um, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of tools to help us build our agency, to help us build ourselves. Madaming tools dyan. We can just, we can, ano, we can research on that. There are a lot of things. But one, one tool I found to be very, very, very helpful and easy to understand and easy to remember is the Wheel of Life. Um, what is the Wheel of Life? 
there. That's why tita, that's why tita Wambui talaga na. That's why tita Wambui asked us to prepare sana a uh, piece of paper and a pen. Okay, panulat. If you want colored colored stuff, sige, I go. Okay. If you can draw sana this one, a circle, and then divide it in eight. Parang pizza lang. I hope everybody can do this. This is, this is ano. So, and then, yung mga little circles inside, the concentric, the circles inside, um, are numbered, if you can see. Where's my cursor there? There's one for the inner circle, two for the next circle, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, if you're drawing it, wedding, you don't have to draw the all the internal circles. Medyo matatagalan tayo. Just maybe put this line. And then, estimate na lang natin from one to ten. Lagyan, mo na, lagyan na lang natin ito. Number it one to ten. Okay. So, what is the wheel of life? Our lives have different aspects. Our lives have different aspects. And a lot of, um, how should I go, psychologists or people who study this um, say that there are eight aspects of our lives. Some say more. Iba-iba yan. But for our purpose, let's go with eight. Okay. The first aspect of our lives is our physical environment. Ito yung tangible environment natin. Your room. Your desk right now, where you are right now, your desk. Your house. Okay? So work, so workplace, yung cubicle natin. Yan ang physical environment. Okay? Another aspect in life. Our career. What is this? Our work? Um, our businesses? I, I know, I know uh, we are encouraging women to go into business. We're good at that, really. So if you have your own business, you have, you're employed, yan, under career yan. Kasama dyan sa career yung role that you play in the office or the role that you play in your business. Uh, ano yung TOR ninyo? Ano yung duties ninyo? Yan, kasama dyan sa career. Third is money. Hiwalay ang career and money. Although they are related, they're interconnected, tight and long yan, but they are different. Money refers to just that. Um, finances, uh, how much of it do you have, how much you don't have, what, how, um, I'm sorry, you, what you earn, what you spend, what you save, what you invest. Yan, kasama dyan yan. Okay? Health, both mental and physical. Nakakalimutan natin a lot of times yung mental health natin. Um, physical, physical health, it's self-explanatory. Everybody would know that. Friends and family. Next aspect ng buhay natin. We have our friends and our family, immediate family, extended family, uh, acquaintances. Yan. Kasama dyan sa aspect yan. We have our relationships. Ito yung sa significant other. Okay? So, that's another aspect of our lives. The seventh is personal growth. Personal development. Kasi, uh, okay, this was meant to be, um, how do you, I forget the term, non, non-sectarian. So, kasama sa personal growth for this purpose lang, no? Yung ating spirituality, uh, siguro religion, dyan, kasama dyan. Personal growth also um, has to deal with ano ba yung gusto mong gawin or identifying what you want to do in life, what you feel like you're meant to do, or just educating ourselves, learning, yan, personal growth. Yan. And the last aspect of our lives is fun and recreation. Madalas, this one is put in the back burner, especially for women, especially for moms. Unahin ang lahat. Huling-huling-huli yung fun natin. Because everybody goes comes first. Diba? Ganyan. Okay. 
So how does this work? Connected lahat yan. Um, have you ever had that feeling, ang init ng ulo mo, or you cannot concentrate? And ang feeling mo, ang problema mo is yung work mo. Feeling mo problema yung work mo. Yung pala, ang problema mo is magulo yung environment mo. Magulo yung kwarto mo. Kaya, you can, nag, kaya magulo yung mind mo. Kasi magulo yung room mo. Sometimes that happens. That happens sometimes. Um, have you ever felt also na minsan mainit ang ulo mo sa anak mo? Wala namang ginagawa pala yung bata. Ang problem mo pala is there's not enough money in the bank for the bills. Okay? Sometimes you feel, ano ba? Oh my gosh, meron ganito. Sometimes I feel like I'm nothing. Parang feeling ko lahat ang mga kaibigan ko, ang gagaling na nila. Tapos ako, ako, andito lang ako. Yung akala mo ang problem mo is, is is the fact that nahuhuli ka na. Yung pala, ang problem mo is under your personal growth category. You're not you're not addressing your personal growth aspect pala enough. Kaya feeling mo na sa stunt ka. Feeling mo nandung ka lang. Di ba? So, these are all interconnected. I hope you guys see the, 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 the interconnection. Can, can, meron bang feedback? Meron bang feedback? I mean, interconnection. Interconnected, interconnectedness. And the reason why I feel this is very effective no? is because madali siyang ma-identify. Madali kang maka-identify now. Now that you have a kodigo, you can identify kung mainit ulo mo or when you're sad. Why am I sad? Ah, I have not talked to, you know, my friend in a long time. Sa friends and family aspect pa lang. Okay? It's not that your whole entire life is sad. It's just one aspect. Which you can now address. Kasi na-identify mo na. Diba? Um, with my career. Diba? Parang ang, problem, ang feeling mo, feeling mo, ang problem mo is uh, walang, wala kang, you, you don't have any more, uh, you're useless. Ganon. Yung pala, there's something that is happening in your career or your business that is making you feel that way. Okay. So, what I want us to do now is this. Ganon why? Wait lang ha. I have to fix. Ita one buwi. Can you, can you, ano? Can you, can you uh, take over for a while? Like one minute. I think my my connection is is bad. I have to reconnect lang my my power, my power bank. Okay, sure. Uh, hello, yes. Uh, yan, habang inaayos ni Lynette yung um, connection niya. Ayan, so if you have a question, if you have comments, if you want to say something, please don't forget to, number one, you may you may uh, put your comments or answers or questions in the comment section both on Facebook on or if you're on Instagram, pwede rin dito sa Instagram. May mga uh, ladies from Big C who can help you address your questions kung may mga anything, and anything about this topic or mga previous topics na na-miss nyo. At the same time, uh, please don't forget to download the Big C app. So we're on we're on um, the App Store. We're also on uh, Google uh, on the for of uh, for um on the play store sorry for those who are using android so available siya both for ios and android and pagka download nyo register and uh lahat ng mga past activities natin or even this present activity you can go to to events and then uh comment kayo doon may mga ladies doon may mga uh we have all the ladies there who uh previously presented some topics Tapos may mga ladies din from Big C who can, who can answer the questions. So download the Big C app, available both for Android and iOS. Tapos register kayo and then go to events. So dun sa community part kasi may mga events doon, may mga iba't ibang topics. So nasa sa inyo na yun kung anong topic yung gusto nyong, um, uh, gusto nyong uh, makita. So may mga learnings about savings, investments, etc. And, and meron talagang in general community 
for events such like uh, such as this. At the same time, we also have uh, an upcoming uh, giveaway. So um, um, it's uh, Chinese New Year is coming up, no? So uh, next week, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, ng um, uh, kumbaga ng parang um, big C giveaway. So uh, wa, uh, wa, so first and foremost, please follow us on our social media pages. Sa big C, uh, we have IG, my big C, and Facebook, my big C. Nandun yung mechanics. So all you have to do is answer the questions na nandoon sa post. So three questions yon. At the same time, kung alam niyo yung answer, go to the events page in the Big C app. Lagay niyo yung answer niyo doon. So I personally will check the answers and some of the Big C ladies will validate the answers. And eto na. So after yung masagot, titignan namin ngayon kung yung sumagot ay bumalik sa, sa post and tag three friends. So yun yung mechanics. So you have to look at the questions. If you're sure of your answer, Go answer them in the Bixi community in um in inside the Bixi app and after answering, uh, tag three of your friends to do the same. So yung yung winner should of course give the correct answer and at the same time tag three friends in the post. So that will be for our Chinese uh, uh Chinese New Year giveaway. So um we already have posted about it. Nandun na yung mga nandun na yung mga giveaway natin. So this is the first time now that we're uh we're giving some giveaways that are personalized na Bixi. So ayan may merch na rin yung Big C. So I hope you join. Ayan, you will be uh, the first, <laughs> the first winner, the first uh, people who will have that giveaway. Actually, wala pa nga kami, but hopefully the team will, will. Uh, I mean, the entire team will um get one because you know, uh, gusto ko din magsuot ng ganon. So yes, please join the Big C giveaway. I think Lynette is okay na. Yes, Ayaw yes. Okay na? Thank you, thank you, Tita. Okay, ayan. So there. Thank you, Mbui, for that. For that salo. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, so where was I? Okay, this is what uh what we what I want you to do now with the wheel of life. Bukod sa insights pa lang natin now that we're getting, na you put different different let's say challenges in your life. You put them in all these little um slices, okay? This in our minds. The thing is, what I want you guys to do now is. Um, you see the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? Those represent the level of satisfaction that you have with your life. Pagdating sa aspect na yan. Let's say, uh, what do we do? Money. Let's say money aspect, okay? Uh, again, you rate the level of your satisfaction. One being very unsatisfied, 10 being I'm perfect, okay? I'm fully satisfied with my money situation now the money aspect of my life. The thing is, when I say satisfaction, it doesn't mean na porque ang laki-laki ng, let's say you have millions in the bank, but the, you you still feel unsatisfied. There, there, there's something like that. There are people who are, okay lang naman yung money nila. Hindi naman mada, sobrang daming money, you know? But they're very satisfied. Okay? What else? I'll give you an example. For relationship, ito magandang anong example. Hindi porque wala kang jowa, unsatisfied ka. Diba? I mean, for relationship, for the relationship aspect of your life, uh, even if you don't have a significant other, you may be satisfied with that. You're okay with that. So you can put a nine or an eight, a nine, a ten, even. Meron naman dyan, okay, may jowa nga, hindi naman satisfied, one. Okay? So that's what I mean when I say I want you guys to think about where you are right now. Right now, I hindi yung, I want this, this should, should have been this, should have been that. No. Right now, be honest with yourself where you are right now in your life. And this is what I want you to do. Let's say for, for money, I'm, I'm, I'm quite satisfied, let's say. Color this one. Just fill it up. Or, you know, pwede yung i-color lahat yan. Up to here, ganyan. Color everything. And then for the next aspect of your life, uh, let's say CC relationship. It's another color. The relationship, let's say you are very unsatisfied with your relationship aspect right now. Color this one, this area. 
Okay. Can everybody do that? Are we good? The people in IG and in Facebook. We're good. The instructions are clear. Okay. So maybe um Tita, how how long how long can we know? Can we um, maybe a minute or two, like right? For this. Okay. So what that's what I want you to do right now. Maybe we'll give you a minute or two. Um, to fill up your wheel of life. Again, think of the the aspect, the slice, and me, and really, really think about whether you're satisfied with it or not. Ano yung level yeah. of satisfaction, and then shade it out. So we can so start now. Start now. Okay. So ayan, so while we're doing the while, while we're doing the activity no. So meron nang mga Q&A. Oh, sabi ng host natin, let's proceed with the Q&A. So sabi question, question number 1. <laughs> How can I manage my day-to-day -day life without depression? Yeah. Okay. Um it depends on ganito. When we say depression, um uh, kasi the word is ano eh, very 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 ano eh, very delicate yan. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Depression, for example, depression. I think that needs professional help. Mm -hmm. Agree. Maybe as agree. a therapist, a psychiatrist, a, a psychologist. You know, um, kung depression talaga siya. Okay, but then there are, ano mga kung pockets of sadness, or again, what I'm saying is, katulad nito being feeling overwhelmed. Hindi siya yung sustained. Kind of an. Then, then, ito, increase your agency. Work on yourself. Katulad, as I said, this is just a tool. Ano lang to? It helps clear the mind. Later, you'll see ano ang ano, ano yung uses nitong wheel of life na to. And hopefully, it can help us with increasing our agency and control over our lives. Okay? Uh, again, there are external things that we can do to alleviate um, sadness, to alleviate um, anxiety. But for me, it's always internal first in order to manage this. Now, again, clinical anxiety, clinical depression, sustained kind of, ano, that's, that's for the professionals. I, I really would encourage, if ever, there would be anybody in listening right now I wouldn't na, who, who feels na ganon. There's a sustained kind of ano, to seek help. Ano naman eh? I am wishing for the day that this is not a, a stigma to go seek professional help. Because I had, I had postpartum depression for years. And it's, it's not easy. Not easy. So I, I hope I encourage everybody now who feels this way, who has who, kahit inkling lang, ask a, ask, ask a professional. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, I also agree no, uh, with, with what uh, Lynette said na um, if you feel na you have you know, signs of depression, seek, seek professional help talaga. Yun talaga yung number one dapat. Uh, Ito, uh, we have another question. How do we balance work and life equally? Ayan. So, lagi natin naririnig yung work-life mm. balance. So, papano daw, Ma'am Lynette? Mm. Madam Lynette? Ayan na nga. Okay. So, again, yung nga. <laughs> I have a beef with work-life balance. Parang, parang work 50% and then everything else 50%. Ang maghati-hati, tag 10% sila. Ganon? Parang, hindi, di ba? Um... Life is life. I mean, work is just a part of life. Why are we giving it 50%? I mean, some, some people, it's easier said than done. But, but, bakit wala ang laki-laki ng chunk ng work? <laughs> you know, that's, that's my, that's, that's how I see it. Then. Okay. That's why, ito nga, the wheel of life, you can see, there's eight, aside from career, aside from work, there's seven other slices. And the first step is recognizing that. Na, um, with respect to the question, because I compare work. 
at least at the very least, we take the first step of recognizing that there are other areas in our lives that we address, we should address, that we should also look at, to be whole, and to be able to, to talagang assess our lives and be clear about it and decide with a clear mind. That's ano. Again, as I said, madaming tools out there. I have, per aspect of life, dito sa slice na to, I can drill down to other tools. Like, let's say for money, I'm sure, I'm sure, Tawambu, you guys have a lot of tools with regard to financial matters that can drill down. You did drill down, no? Diba? Like the the talks that um that 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 uh sila tita sila wambu is doing, especially when it comes to financial matters, you put it in that money slice. So, madaming tools, but this uh, for me ah, the wheel of life is the start. It's a start. It's a good start. Physical environment you can build on Marie Kondo, di ba? How to clean your environment, how to clean your house, how to clean your room and bring joy. Throw out everything that does not bring joy <laughs> in your life. Ergo, ang mga BTS merch hindi itatapon. Diba? So, a lot of, ano, a lot of, a lot of, per aspect pa lang, madami na tayong pwedeng gawin. And balancing all this. Yun nga. Balancing, synergizing <laughs> all this. It's the first step. First step is recognizing it in the first place. Na hindi lang work. Uh, ayan. So no more questions daw. Uh, but if you have more questions uh, na maisip nyo, you can, you can go, of course, to the community uh, on the Bixi app. Ayan. So uh, para tuloy-tuloy yung discussion natin. So uh, okay. next, you can continue with the Wheel of Life. Yes. Now. Yes. So most probably, oh no, but I'm a move. There. Most probably you got something like this. Ang pangit ang pagkagawa ko. Um, di ba? Hindi, I, I have yet to see someone do this na talagang perfect circle. Lahat balanced. Um, sana I can see the feedback that, ano, of the people, ano, sayang. But, uh, given this, given this, let's say some, some, your, your wheel looked something like this. Ano. Do you think it's gonna turn properly you think it's you're going to move forward pag ganyan yung wheel diba most probably o sige it will turn but it's going to be a bumpy ride why because there are aspects in your life that you might be forgetting you're not satisfied with it and this satisfaction when you're dissatisfied with something in your life Ano eh? It affects it affects the other other aspects also. It affects the other aspects, really. So what do we do now? Kung ganito yung wheel mo, may may sobrang baba, meron namang mataas. What we do now is maybe you would want to focus on that aspect in your life na mababa, because most probably that is something that is ano na. That's a major player in why, uh, a major contributor in eroding our agency. Okay, like for example, dito sa example ko no. At as a physical environment, you're happy with your house, you're happy with your room, your uh, career is quite good, level eight. Okay, pero yung health mo baba. Maybe you have you're developing ano na high blood pressure, sa stress. Diba? Uh, maybe you should start addressing the health aspect of our lives first. Diba? Um, so fun and recreation. A lot of moms put this last. Because they're so self-sacrificing. Diba? But it's not good. It's not good. It's going to erode, erode your, anyway, your, your, your power. Because fun and recreation is, is vital to a person's ano, life. Diba? Pag, pag tinanggal mo sa akin yung fun and recreation ko na BTS, my gosh, ang dami kong sinasanting tao last year siguro. 
<laughs> ano eh, it's vital. It, it makes you feel alive when you're having fun. So, maaring, let's say, yung money mo, sabi mo na, wala akong money eh. To increase fun and recreation, it's expensive. Diyan na papasok nga yung balancing act mo. ba? Diba? What do you give up for money sa money aspect para ma-increase natin si fun and recreation? Maybe, uh, pwedeng mag-give up muna ng kape sa Starbucks to, to be able to address our fun and recreation side. At the very least, now, alam mo saan, what you're going to work on or what you what is calling out for your attention. Okay? Is, 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 it, is it so far, ano, is this helping or is this clear for so far for, for people? Are we good? I, I wish I can see the people. So, given this, what can I do with my wheel? I've given you a tool, right? You've answered the tool. You've seen your wheel. What can I do with it? The wheel can clear your mind. Parang, ah, oo nga. Yes. Kasi we start getting overwhelmed pag naghalo-halo lahat ng aspect ng lives natin. Diba? It's easier to address if it's in bite-sized pieces. So it's, it's a tool to clear the mind. When you're in a, when you're going through the day and you feel yourself being anxious. Anong aspect kaya ng buhay ko ang nagpapa-anxious sa akin ngayon? Is it the fact na masakit yung anak ko kaya ako anxious so that's the friends and family aspect, di ba? Pero dito ko sa career ko linalabas yung yung init ng ulo ko or yung worry ko. So yeah, it it help it can help you clear the mind. Number two, it's an assessment tool. I, I, I would encourage you to once in a while uh, do the wheel. Kasi what your situation is right now may not be the situation you will be in in six months' time, in a year's time. Right? Kasi na, pwedeng na-address mo na si fun and recreation eh. So your next will be, yay, have, you have fun and recreation already. It's a little more balanced. Ganyan. So it's an assessment tool also. Third, it's a tool for self-reflection. Yun lang isipin mo to begin with yung satisfaction level mo. Sa personal growth mo. You know that, that feeling na I was born to be a writer, but how come I'm not writing? Parang you get that feeling I was born to do this, but how come I'm not doing it? But it's your self growth or personal growth or personal development aspect talking. Address it. Write once in a while in a journal. Or, or, or e, e, mag-gitara ka once in a while if it makes you happy, if it makes you grow, if it gives you fun, and if it makes you grow, it gives you joy. Do it kahit five minutes a day. Five minutes, ten minutes a day. Please. Um, in addition, no, a lot of people say, and this is what is happening a lot of times now. You work, 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 work. Nas stress, 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 stress. Tapos one week vacation. And you expect all that built up stress to go away with a one week vacation. It, uh, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes nga pagbalik mo pa from the vacation, mas pagod ka pa. Diba? Okay. Ang sinasabi ng mga ano ng mga experts ano is you experience everyday stress and especially nowadays extraordinary stress. What you do is dapat every day then you do something that will distress you. Even if it's just 5 minutes like as I said 30 minutes do something to give you joy. Ganon ang pag-counter sa daily stress. Hindi yung titiisin mo lahat ng stress, iipunin mo, and then vacation kang one week or vacation kang one month. It's affected na yung, ano mo, affected na yung, yung, yung adrenaline and cortisol levels mo sa sobrang tagal ng stress. Every day, please, whether, whatever it is, kung anong aspect man ng will mo, 
that you find joy in. If you find joy in cleaning their physical environment, do it. May mga iba na di-distress na ganoon, yung naglininis, nagwawalis. Gives them, gives them ano eh, parang time to think. Di ba? So it's just a, a tip, just a, just a suggestion not to do. Um, it can be a tool for goal setting. If you feel that your life is, for example, mababa yung, yung aspect ng life mo na yan, set a goal for that aspect, for that life aspect. Let's say money. Money. Um, talagang si, si money talaga kasi parating na-encounter ko na problem. For money, what is your goal? Save? Di ba? A lot of us save, save money. Pero wala ka pa palang bank account. Di ba? Maybe a goal could be open a bank account. It doesn't have to be big. Again, bite-sized pieces. That's a, I, I find it more effective. Bite-sized pieces. Uh, open a bank account. Research which bank is the best. If you your goal mo sa money is investing, research. Di ba? Go to XC. <laughs> Ganyan. Do, do your research. Small steps. These are small steps. You're not even investing to begin with. But you're beginning to learn about it. That's a goal. Ang gandang goal na yun. Sa totoo lang. Uh, just to start. So the wheel can help you with that. My goal is to clean up my room. What do you do? Garage sale. Goal, garage sale. So small, no? But it will help you if 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 yung physical aspect mo is hindi ka satisfied, to declutter, it will help you. It will really help you cope. And you feel like you're in control. You really feel like you're in control. Okay, what else? It will help you in decision making. Katulad yung sinabi ko kanina, oh, I can't afford to uh, to watch a movie every day. Or I can't afford to watch a movie every week. Yan. Or I can't afford to buy a bike. To be healthy, I want to bike, but I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't. I don't have funds to buy a bike. Okay, decision making. What aspects of your life are affected? Money, and in the let's say let's say the case of biking, and health. If your health is affected, now, what goal do you need to do on the money aspect para makakuha ka ng bike? Decision making. I am deciding to forego muna buying the hobby bag because I need to buy a bike to be healthy. Okay? Is it is it is it making sense? Is it, are these making sense? Ito mong way, it's a good. It's, it's making sense. Okay. So these are the things that you can do with a wheel. With one tool. With one tool. You can do all this. And this will help you feel in control. This can help you. Hindi ko sinasabing ito lang ang sagot sa lahat ng problema. But it will help you in taking your agency. Okay? Kasi na-identify mo na yun. Na-identify mo na if you have a problem, what aspect am I supposed to address? Okay? I'm not happy with work. Why? Sige, let's address the career, the career aspect. Kalimutan muna natin yung ibang ano, ibang ibang slices, di ba? Is it the people? Is it the job itself? Is it the industry? Is it your position? And so, all of this you can do with with one cheat sheet. Teach I call I call the wheel of life my cheat sheet. Next. So what's next? Um, I want to, ano, I want sana to highlight ito, yung, yung goal setting. Yung, yung, kasi nga, we want to feel in control of our lives. We want to take control of our lives. Okay? And in a balanced way. Right? And yung nga, yung wheel mo, it's, it's unique to you. You are the only one who has that wheel. You are the only one who can address it. You are the only one who can interpret it. So hold on to that and then maybe look at something that you would want to address. A slice that you would want to address. One lang muna. I don't want to overwhelm you. Baka mag-beach ball of death tayong lahat dito. So one lang muna. 
let's say it is um ano ba ano ba hindi pa natin na mention na ano let's say personal growth okay i want to address my personal growth um aspect my slides i have three questions for you guys kasi sometimes pag sinabi goal setting parang sobrang ano na yun so i polluting so this is simple we can start with this what do i start Simple question. Or let's say money is usually a money. Event. Save. What do I start? What do I start to do if my goal is to save? I will start, uh, let's say, laying away 20 pesos a day for saving. Or let's say, I will start listening to podcasts on saving. There are a lot of things, small things. It's a good, small things is a, are good things. Basta you start. Okay, yeah, yun yun. Number two, what do I stop? What do I stop? I will, uh, I will talk about now, let's say, friends and family. A lot of times, a lot of times, or not a lot, there are times when the most toxic people in our lives are the are the nearest people to our lives. Okay? Sometimes even family. Okay? If, for example, you feel that that aspect of your life, you have anxiety with it, you have, you're feeling overwhelmed with it, what do I start to do? What do I stop? Maybe I can stop trying to please everybody in the family. You know, or maybe I can start voicing out my boundaries. Okay, meron nga ako sinasabi. Eh. So sometimes there are people, di ba sabi na delete toxic people from your lives. Um, sometimes there are people that we cannot delete from our lives, or di naman, we wouldn't want to delete naman talaga. So what I say is edit the people in your life. Don't delete, edit. Yeah. If you feel like you need boundaries, set boundaries. So that's, what do I start? What do I stop? What do I continue? Baka naman may ginagawa ka tama. And you just continue with that. So, again, take that one slice in your life for now. That's homework na lang yung iba. Yung pito. When you feel like it, when you feel like you're ready for it. And just answer one or two, di ba? Questions. One, one, the answer, ans, I answer with, I'm sorry, answer the questions with, paano ba yun? Just, with the one na nasabaw na ako. Give two answers now. Per, per question, yun. <laughs> it's the, it's the booster shot talking. <laughs> I feel you. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the, no, no. And, and hopefully, my, my, my hope now, kasi, so, so totoo lang, this one takes half a day, sometimes one whole day pa na, ano eh, na workshop to it, na face-to-face. -face. But, you know, we're, we're online and we can just give um, nuggets of uh, maybe wisdom, nuggets of learnings that I hope will help. And I hope magamit. I hope magamit. Uh, I feel like it's simple enough to use and it's a good start. In, in, Assessing our lives, balancing our lives, taking control of our lives, especially nowadays. Okay. So with that, thank you. I hope it helps. Ayan. Ayan. So thank you. Ayan. Okay. I'm on. I'm not on mute naman. So thank you so much. Ayan. Lynette. Ayan. Gusto ko yung, uh, I like how you ended it, no? What do I stop? Uh, what do I start? What do I stop? And what do I continue? So I hope we get to think about it over the weekend, mamaya, before we go to sleep. Kasi ako nag-isip din ako eh. Ano ba yung stop ko? Ano yung, ano yung stop ko? What will I prioritize? Kumbaga, at the same time, um, ano naman yung i-continue ko? So uh, different aspects of our life. Kasi I'm sure we have something na talagang we value at the same time na pwede natin i-continue. The same time may mga bagay naman, may mga habits tayo na hmm, pwede kong itigil muna to. At the same time, we might want to, you know, do something new, learn something new, do try 
is something new. So, yun yung mga bagay na pwedeng start. So, uh, very simple question. I hope, um, I hope everyone who has been watching the live with us today uh, learned a thing or two, no? Ang ganda, gusto ko yung Wheel of Life kasi sometimes we we see uh, ano talaga yung parang macro na parang feel natin labo-labo, ganyan. But we actually can, ano pala, can sometimes, you know, a compartmentalizing things. Tapos doon natin makikita uh, what we can stop, what we can start, and what we can continue in the different aspects of our life. Ayan lives. So, ayan. So, thank you very much, uh, Lynette. Ayan. And thank you, everyone, who has been uh, supporting, no, the lives ng Big C, especially this event, no. It's very refreshing. Ayan, on a Friday night that, you know, we were all tired, we're all stressed out. Some of us were st are, are stressed out, ganyan. So, this is, this this uh, live is very helpful. And uh, I hope you guys continue to uh, be with Big C. Ayan, so as I mentioned earlier, always uh, go to the, the community uh, community part of our um, app. So if you haven't downloaded the app, uh, we're available both on iOS and on Android. So pwede nyo i-download yan. So download yeah. nyo na, register, go to the community, and um, I, 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 um, makikita nyo dun yung events. So may events doon, comment kayo kung may mga na-miss kayong events before. Or if you're interested naman with learning, sabi nga ni Lidette kanina, um, hindi mo nga kailangan mag-start ka agad na, hi, sige, ang laki na ng ipon ko agad. No, sometimes all you have to do is one little step, no, moving forward. Yung parang you learn something about, oh, this is what I can do to invest. Or, oh, this is what I can do pala to save. So, may mga snippets of knowledge, may mga articles, may mga women there who can help you. Uh, just go to the, Just go inside the community and there's a lot of topics there where you can ask anything about about uh, about uh, this aspect. So uh, that's my first announcement. And of course, this uh, very exciting announcement for Chinese New Year's. I mentioned earlier, kung, hin kung wala pa kayo sa live kanina, we will be having a Chinese New Year giveaway. So this is the Big C Lady Starter Pack. Oh. So um, this is the first batch of merch from Big C. So um, you just have to answer three questions. The questions are already posted in our um, Facebook and uh, Instagram pages. Three questions. And then if you know the correct answers, go to the community, go to, go inside the Big C app, answer in the community. And last but not the least, go back to the post and then tag three friends. So to get um, to to be one of the winners, you have to do uh, you have to satisfy two conditions: answer correctly and uh, inside the app and tag three of your friends. So I hope to see you there. I will be in the community. I will also be in the comment section of IG to engage with everyone, or even on Facebook. So I hope. Um, ayan, so uh, for the Chinese New Year event, ganon yung mangyayari. We have a Chinese. Uh, we have a big sea lady starter pack giveaway. So um, that ends our live tonight. Thank you so much, uh, Lynette. Thank you so much for refreshing everyone who joined. Ayan, nakikita ko ang daming nagko-comment kanina, ang daming na engage, ang daming na tapos yung wheel of life. So thank you so much, and I hope uh, to see everyone. Don't forget to download the Big C app, and I hope to uh, see everyone uh, in our next live. So bye. See you.